Dear friends, throughout the hardships and the heartache of this pandemic, love, not fear, has guided our response. In fact, I think the same was true for Martin Luther in the 16th century when the plague was their pandemic. He wrote, Therefore, I shall ask God to mercifully protect us, but then I shall fumigate and help purify the air, administer medicine, and I shall take it. I shall avoid places and people where my presence is not needed in order not to become contaminated and thus, perchance, infect others. <laughs> Sounds a lot like social distancing and mask wearing. And now, the medicine that we have to take is the vaccine. I am deeply thankful that I've been able to receive both doses of this life-saving gift. As a matter of fact, I know that almost 100% of St. Michael members 65 years and older have also been vaccinated because our own Dr. Murphy has called almost all of them. Millions of other people have been vaccinated with low risk and with a high potential to protect against serious illness. Now, now the vaccine is available to anyone over 16, and I want to encourage everyone who is able to get vaccinated. It is the pathway to normalcy. It's the best way to care for you. It's the best way to care for those around you. It is how we love one another. Now, I know many still have questions, and that's okay. That's normal. It's completely understandable. This has all happened very fast. The techniques are new, and trying to sort out true information and who are the people that you can trust can be a really difficult process. But fortunately, there are sources of really great information to help us. So talk with your own doctor or pharmacists or Dr. Murphy, Dr. Newland, or any number of other doctors and pharmacists that are here at St. Michael would be happy, happy to help you. They are experts that you can trust and who have your best interests at heart. You know, questions are good. They're how we open ourselves to new information and reassure our minds. The most important thing about questions is asking them. You know, God gave humanity the wisdom and the creativity to do remarkable things, including creating a vaccine for a virus that has killed more than 3 million people across the world, including some people that we know and love. So ask questions. Get reliable answers from trusted experts, and then do what you feel is right. Vaccines have been saving lives for generations. So my prayer is that God would grant that they would continue to do so. And God bless our health care providers and all of those who bring comfort and healing to those who are hurting. Take care, everyone, and let's keep loving one another. <music>